I mean, it certainly doesn't taste like real watermelon fruit. Most things are watermelon. Yeah. They have artificial flavors. Yeah. I actually taste like artificial flavors more than real things. Yeah. Did you know that artificial banana flavor is actually based on a type of banana that is now extinct? That's a real thing. Oh, neat. Yeah. Now, I don't know what artificial watermelon flavor is based on. If it's based on kind of watermelon that's now extinct. But... Oh, did you know, speaking, speaking of um, extinct fruits, there's this fruit that's still surviving. It's called the Buddha's hand fruit. It has like weird tentacle things coming out of it. Wow. Listen, can we find a picture of the Buddha's hand fruit? And let's cut it into the video right here. Yeah, and then, uh, and, uh, you know, it looks so strange. Our ancestors used to use it. Yeah. Really? Like, uh, for medicine or for food or? Food. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so, uh, on a scale from 1 to 10. 10, one, it's a good Okay, so this one is, this one is uh, number one in, uh, Calvin's book. Um, I really do like the fact that it's like a little bit tangy and for people who find peeps in general too sweet or too cloy, this would be a really good choice. Um, the watermelon is not overpowering. It is more of like a subtle peep. So I'd say yeah, it's a winner. Yeah, I would, I think like watermelon flavors are the most powerful. Okay, so we're good to go. So thanks for tuning in with us today, you guys. And again, this is sour watermelon. Flavor. And it looks like they come in they a pack of... Uh, like sour, 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 sour. Oh no! Sour. So they come in a pack of 10 and uh, you should be able to